Alright, Shalom, Mafia. First of all, we like Asha, to start off by Asha, 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 Asha. Asha. Alright, as you see this beautiful sun has set it, brothers. You will also see that the sun is setting on the times that we are in currently. We are almost out of this piece. And so before we go out of this piece, there's things that we have to deal with as individuals in this word and this truth because it will be unsettling at first, but we maintain our peace and integrity and all these things will be revealed in their time. But until then, these are just tips on how to deal with it. For brothers in this truth, in this word, you know what I'm saying? And a great millstone on out, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, so just a couple things, you know what I'm saying? Out of the abundance of thy heart. All right, you gotta watch what you say. Say what you watch, man, okay? Mm -hmm. Because we speak on things that we have seen and we don't speak on them unless we are quite sure of the things that we have seen, all right? There's no need, you know, for us to get caught up in using many words because when you use many words, you get caught up in, in the simple shit. And in the end, you end up with egg on your face. I know that, you know, from a personal standpoint, okay? I hate saying the wrong thing and then end up paying for it later because I've done that so much in my life that it brought me to this point and I've received much wisdom from that to what you how about Shimmy Asha and how to conduct ourselves and um, you know just basically holding your tongue man that's a necessary thing oh yeah an example of that would be like the, the guy from uh, Israelites trying to refine you know when he said that um, if, if somebody could go and find the elders you know he'll denounce the name the names of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai right you know, that was a foolish statement you know that was a statement made in and pride and arrogance. Right. That's basically an oath. Yep. Definitely saying that you would do something in return for this. Mm -hmm. You gotta be careful, man, because if you put, hey, what the Lord say, make not thy oath. Yep. Right? So these oaths that we unknowingly make, you wanna sit up later on and wonder why, you know, you're going through a whole bunch of confusion and fucked up shit. It's because it may be some shit that you said, whether you would call it or not, man. Mm -hmm. Better is it that thou shouldest not bow than that thou shouldest bow and not pay. Right. Better is it that thou should not bow than thou should make a vow and not pay, you know? Because you're not forced to vow. The Lord said it's better not to vow than to make a vow and not pay. So, you know, you gotta you gotta be careful of things like that. It says, suffer not thy mouth to cause thy Speak flesh up a little, to sin. Please. Oh, suffer not thy mouth to cause thy flesh to sin. Neither say thou before the angel that it was an error. Wherefore should the Most High be angry at thy voice and destroy the work of thy hand? Oh <laughs> shit! Let me testify myself. And shit. Right, right. Let's see what happened was. Right, shit. right. You the mean, Lord ain't trying to hear all that, man. You trying to justify yourself too, the Most High, man? Right. In the end, you always talking to the Most High. You know, a motherfucker say, nigga, I would never do this, that, and the third. That's mm. not me. I wouldn't do it. Yep. And then you end up doing the shit. Yep. yep. I think you do that because you was uttering that shit towards him. Yep. All right? Same thing with any other situation. Mm. I'm going to go back up to verse 2. It says, Be not rash with thy mouth, and let not thine heart be hasty to utter anything before the Most High. For the Most High is in heaven, and thou upon earth. Yep. Therefore, let thy words be few. There you go. I mean, that, that goes back to the abundance of the heart, man. And I want to go ahead and read this as well. This is Matthew chapter 12, starting at 34. O generation of vipers, how can ye, being evil, speak good things? For out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. Right. So whatever is in your mind, that that's what your mouth is going to utter, you know? Whatever is, uh, whatever, uh things that you're harboring your, your mouth is going to utter those things man that's why if you if you're not careful with your with your mouth man you're gonna you're gonna say some things that you ought not you know that's why it says let your word be few uh moving on a good man out of the good treasure of his heart bringeth forth good things and an evil man out of the evil treasure bringeth forth evil things but i say unto you that every idle word that man shall speak, they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment. Right. For by thy words thou shalt be justified, and by thy words thou shalt be condemned. That, uh, that day of judgment is, is, is thrown upon you. So, you know, also, what is that? Uh, 
First Timothy two and four, second Timothy two and four, I talk about a man's judgment go before his uh you know what I'm talking about? Crying, crying, crying. Can you please get that please out? Come on. Um, yeah, you know, because you got certain things that you may say or do, you know, they'll go before you, man, and be waiting for your ass up ahead, man. You don't even see a spirit. And vice versa. You wonder why you're going through some shit and it may be some shit that you said before, right? Or four times. And you'll get your ass cooked for that shit, man, before it even happens. Mm -hmm. And then when you do it, when you get cooked, you say, why, why the fuck would I go through this, that, and the third? Mm -hmm. And the end of the matter and shit, when the most high is revealing to you, to you through your situation, you'll be like, damn, I, I fucked up, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And that's if you have any wisdom, man. Right. This is uh, First Timothy 5 and 24, some man sins are open beforehand. That's yes, it. yes, okay. what? Going before, all right, I'll start at the, at the top again. First uh, Timothy 5 and 24, some man's sins are open beforehand, going before to judgment. Right, so some man's sins are open before anything even takes place, man. Uh, anything even laid down on the table, said, done, anything. I'll look at that chair again. Anything said or done, you know, and that's a chariot. I mean, hey, there we go right there, man. You know, call law, y'all, by him, y'all, shot. A lot of thumb guys, you know what I'm saying? Right. Uh, uh, mine. So, you know, that just goes to show what we said has some truth to it. Mm -hmm. Angels cruise by, yep. Yeah. Let me just tell you these brothers what they're saying is for real. Let me peel by. And that L dog mm -hmm. with the diamond in the back spaceship. <laughs> right. Like a diamond in the sky, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So, I'm sorry, God. Just saw that sense go up beforehand before they even commit any, um, any offense, man. <laughs> And some men, they follow after. Right. So afterwards, some men, they follow right after you, man. Right after you commit these things, man. All right? You know, you know what I mean? You're going around saying, you know, polluting the doctrine, so to speak. Right. Mm -hmm. Bearing false witness, all kind of shit, you know? Right. And then some men follow right along with you, and then they're going to be judged accordingly. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Blindly. Blind. Likewise, also the good works of some are manifest beforehand, and they that are otherwise cannot be hid. Right. So it could be because the Most High makes the good deeds of those acceptable and manifest. So stop trying to reach up and see the elders, all you brothers, man. You know what I'm saying? Push this word, man. You know what I'm saying? Push this word. Don't have an ulterior motive. You're trying to get recognized by the elders by your feet, man. We're doing this for you. How about shit me out shot? Mm. That would for let your words be few. Stop trying to impress. What happened to, um, to that brother that was on the side um, th this last week when the apostles was out there, man? All mm. right, about five, six minutes in. He, the apostle had to cuss him out, man. Let him know to go somewhere else, man. Yep. Why? Because he was using too many words, brother. Right. All right? Again, uh, 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 to ancient men. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And by having too many words to say before those ancient men, you got put to silence, man. Mm -hmm. All right? Um, this is, this is Sirach 22 and 20. Whoso cast with the stone at the, the birds prayeth them away, and he that upbraideth his friends breaketh flesh. Hey right, man, you gotta be easy with what you say, because, hey, in the end, you can turn around and there'd be nobody behind you because of some shit that you said and you did, man. And you'd be sitting somewhere looking, looking silly, man. You know what I'm saying? You don't want that type of shit. You sit somewhere like, why is this, that, and the third? Everybody else is saying, hey, my man, motherfucker, it's you. And it can't be you. I had to figure that shit out, man. Mm -hmm. Can't always be me. Uh, I can't be innocent all the fucking time. God uh, damn. Uh, I have to be a blameless motherfucker all the time. Uh, and that's, that's impossible. Not, yep, that's not possible. Huh. Uh, this year is still cool, uh, man. This is um, Sirach chapter 32, mm -hmm. verse 7. Speak, young man, if there be need of thee, and yet scarcely when thou art asked twice. Let right. thy speech be short, comprehending much in few words. Be as one that knoweth, and yet holdeth his tongue. Right, because you know, even if you know the matter, right, you can say this, that, or the third. You don't see, you got to stop and think about how much patience is being exercised towards you. Mm -hmm. All right, before you think about how much exercise of patience you're exercising towards somebody else, right. it might not be the same degree. Yep. All right. If thou be among great men 
make not thyself equal with them and when ancient men are in the place use not many words right so if you stop and you look at a situation you say ancient men it's not just talking about the apostles man they could be those that have been in this thing longer than you have and they may have come across this bridge that you're going across now but you can't hear that you can't see that or whatever it may be all right you can't take wise counsel on that all right, that's an ancient man because he's been across this bridge a couple times. You know what I'm saying? And he's handled himself well crossing this raggedy ass bridge these motherfucking times. But he ain't fall off the motherfucker. He shit broke ass. This nigga got a limp. He's missing a leg because he fell off the bench. No, he didn't made it across those couple times. He didn't been across. Hey, mm -hmm. brother, take this step. Take that step. Mm -hmm. Nah, man, it, it gotta be these. You, can't, you gotta be this, that, and the third. No, man. You, that's too many words coming into play, man. Uh, this is uh, moving on. Before the thunder goeth lightning, mm -hmm. and before the shame-faced man shall go favor. Right. And then, see, you, when you seek to gain somebody's favor, you don't have to try that hard. Like they say, you ain't got a lot of kick. You ain't mm -hmm. got a. You ain't got to overdo shit. You see, when you be trying to be too mother, take it from my, my and, and this is from a personal standpoint, okay. I don't try to be a cool guy or something like that. That's just how the most I made things to happen in my favor at times. I don't think I'm cool, but I've been told, oh, you a cool dude, or you a laid back. I don't try to be that way. I'm just being me. So every time you try to be something that you're not, it's going to be a conflict, man. Mm -hmm. It is not going to come off right, you know? Yeah. That's why I say before shame faced man shall go favor. Hey, a man is always favored before he's uh, put to shame. Yeah. Hey, that's how the Lord humble you. Right. Uh, rise up betimes and be not the last, but get thee home without delay. Take there, take thy pastime and do what thou wilt, but sin not by proud speech. Ooh, so that proud speech is gonna have you sitting somewhere feeling really foolish. If you, if you if you could come to say that you did commit that offense or say something, man, mm -hmm. that's gonna have you feel somewhere feeling ostracized. Mm -hmm. You gonna be somewhere feeling like like you got a big, you know how I feel like uh, if you do something wrong or something stupid, feel like you got a big ass head and everybody's looking at you. Feel like your head filled up with air or something. Everybody's looking like, damn, this nigga head big as a bitch. Or you got a, like a little cloud that follows you. Right, and you, and you the only one getting rained on. Con. Yep. Yep. You like you, you've just been shamefaced. Right. And that right. happens often. That means you need to probably hold your tongue more often. Once again, right. I speak from experience. Right. God damn it. I'm not speaking just because yeah. I'm from the abundance of my heart. I'm speaking from experience. Mm -hmm. And when you can't do that shit, you can never be cool, man. You can never be the cool guy that you want to be because mm -hmm. you can't do something simple. It's like somebody right. asking a tip. How do I throw a proper roundhouse? Right. See, brother, you got to spin off your heel and turn your head so you can see guide the rest of your body to its target. Okay, but I don't want to spin off my heel like that. I would rather spin off my toe and shit. <laughs> well, then guess what? You're not going to have the uh, the lethal weapon with two male, uh, male Gibson roundhouse, man. Right. He's going to have a Danny Glover one where he kicked over the water thing and shit. Mm. Tried to do like the Mel Gibson did. Tried to do the roundhouse in the office on, on, on Lethal Weapon 2. <laughs> right. He kicked over the fucking water right. thing. <laughs> right. I'm sorry. Yeah. This is uh, Ecclesiastes 20 and 5. There is one that keepeth silence and, and is found wise. And <laughs> another by much babbling becometh hateful. Right, hey, one day uh, keep it silence and found wise because he, he not talking so much, man. I mean, and, and then one that uh, babble and, and he is hated, man. He talk too much. What is it? That song, you talk too much, you never shut up. I said, you, you talk, talk too much. much. Man, man, you never, never shut, shut up. up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, you, that. yeah. <laughs> but it, 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 but that, that that goes right along lines with the scriptures, man. There's a babbler, and, and he is found hated. But if you don't talk very much, you know you found wise. Case in point, one of the brothers in our, our camp, known as Mashaquat, he don't talk very much. But when he does speak, you know, he, he speaks wisdom, you know. He's found wise because he don't talk very much, man. Comprehending much in few words, man. Some man holdeth his tongue because he hath not to answer, and some keepeth silence, knowing his tongue. Right.
because uh, the scriptures also talk about uh, basically uh, wise words will not be accepted in the mouth of a fool, man. Because you got to know the times, man. You got to know the times when you should speak and should not, man. You know, lest you be found shamefaced, you know. A wise man will hold his tongue till he see opportunity, but a babbler and a fool will regard no time. Right. A babbler and a fool is not regarding time. They're just trying to get out as much as they can as quickly as possible. Like they know something. No, man, it ain't the time for you to speak. You just shut up until it's time for you to speak, you know? Yeah, man. It says, he that uses many words shall be abhorred. And he that taketh to himself authority therein shall be hated. Hey, and that, yeah, that's another thing, man. He that uses many words shall be abhorred, man. People ain't going to want to um, be around you when you talk too much, man. And then he that, uh, read that again. Uh, it says, and he that taketh to himself authority therein shall be hated. Yeah, he that taketh to, to himself authority shall be hated, man. Don't, don't try to make yourself the man, you know. He that taketh to himself authority, hey, he shall be hated. Matter of fact, what does the scripture say about that? Uh, sit you at the low seat and let the uh, and let the Lord exalt you. Don't don't exalt yourself, man. The, the, what? Don't play yourself. You know. This is Rock twenty and four sixteen. Mm -hmm. The fool says, "I have no friends. I have no thanks for all my good deeds, mm -hmm. and they that eat my bread speak evil of me." Mm -hmm. And that's and that's what a fool says, man. If you don't if you don't believe you have none, then okay, you're a fool, man. Like you know, and, you and then you're gonna look up and not really have them. right. And then on top of that, if if you feel that way, man, you gotta uh, examine yourself, man. Right. Look inside yourself and see what you've been doing, you know. Intimacy, kind, yeah, through yeah. a long time. Kind, into kind. me, see, see kind. into yourself, kind. You want a motherfucker that you like to get to know you, they want them to be intimate with you, which is the sharing of time. So you need to do the same thing with your house by out shy to receive the spirit of understanding. Kind. Kind. What can you do that about? What's that scripture? Uh, yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, um, I don't know it offhand. I have to find it. Kind. We say, uh, let's see, this is the rock. Um, 28 9. A man, excuse me, a simple man disquiet his friends and make a debate among them that be at peace. Do not be controversial all the time. Right. At times I have to hold my tongue in situations. And, even and when it, you feel you're right. Right. Mm -hmm. And even when, you know, the way you think or, you know, how whatever your opinion is seems the right way to you. Right. You know? mm -hmm. Right. Because you got to weigh your words. Right. Kind of weigh your words in the balance. I got. I didn't have plenty of women I had to hold my tongue for in certain situations, and the most I made it happen, and they and then they came back to me and told me they was wrong because I held my tongue. Mm -hmm. I didn't feel the need to always, you know, ah, just, you know what I'm saying, be overbearing and shit. Mm -hmm. That that's part of being a cool motherfucker, man. Just chill out, man. Be easy, man, to see what transpires to an extent. All right. You let motherfucker talk they self into some shit. Why? Because your words is few. Therefore, you have a better chance of being blameless in the situation. You don't have to recant different shit that you have said. You try to figure certain things out. Because in the end, you may blame them because you didn't have much to say about the matter in the first place. Mm -hmm. And that's for anybody inside or outside of any situation. Let your words be you unless you comprehend the wholeness of the matter. Mm -hmm. All right? That's, that, hey, it's real, man. Mm -hmm. This is Sirach 7 and 5. Justify not thyself before the Lord, and boast not of thy wisdom before the king. Seek not to be judged, being not able to take away iniquity lest at any time thou fear the person of the mighty and stumbling block in the way of uprightness. Offend not against the multitude of a city, and then thou shalt not cast thyself down among the people. Right, so offend not in the multitude of a city. The multitude of a city would be the majority of the city, right? Mm -hmm. 
contract because the city don't have to be nothing but 10, 11 motherfuckers. Mm -hmm. uh, they'll probably call that a village or a commonwealth, but Jerusalem, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying, in comparison to the world, hey, hey, we've always been somewhat of a small sanctuary that the Lord has been dealing with. Because he's dealing with his elect person before the other, the other the two thirds. So. Right, right. Go more. Bind not one sin upon another, for in in one thou shalt not be punished. Say not. Right. So that's mm -hmm. like repeating the matter. And one, you you can do this one thing one time, right? Whether it be offense or any kind of thing that you have done, right? That's not right. And the most high might let you slide on that shit, man. You know what I'm saying? Now later on, you can perceive that you was wrong in it and be like, damn, oh man, so why do you how about Shimmy Al He could have fucked me mm -hmm. up for that. Mm -hmm. But then you would, that's why you repeat not a matter, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because when you repeat that matter again, the most high is going to be right there waiting to fuck you up just like a child, yeah. man. When yeah. a child show the fuck out, got their hand reaching for shit and they looking dead at you. Because mm -hmm. the first time I told you no, the second time I'm going to pop the shit out of you. Yeah. Uh, say not, the power will look upon the multitude of my oblations. And when I offer it to the most high power, he will accept it. Man, the most high got to understand it. He knows my heart. <laughs> right. He knows my heart. Right. So right. you know what I'm saying? That's why I, you know, I I be I don't believe for all of what you're saying, but I believe in son. You see what I'm saying? Because the most high know my heart. Mm -hmm. He know he he know that next time that you do this silly shit, he's gonna fuck you up. Chastity. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, Ecclesiastes 34 and 25. He that washes himself after touching a dead body, if he touch it again, what availeth his washing? You yeah, went right back. That's like a pig returning to his yeah. life, man. Returning to that mud. All right, a dog returning to the vomit. You was threw up. You was straight. All right, mm -hmm. nigga, then came back and ate it. That shit is sick. You get clean of something, you cleanse from a situation and forgiven from it. Don't go and repeat the shit in a whole other mm -hmm. fucking way. God damn. Mm -hmm. Yes, it says that we, we forgive 77 upon seven times to that extent. But God damn, don't push that shit. Mm -hmm. Because just because you forgive somebody don't mean you're not, you know, marking them and, and checking them out and looking at them a certain way. Because now mm -hmm. I know how to deal with your ass and shit. Mm -hmm. Because the way you've been saying or doing something, huh? I done did that all the way up into this point of truth. Mm -hmm. Because I'm used to being by myself, so it's not hard for me to fucking do that to somebody. Or are you fucking, you, uh, yeah, okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you apologize for this, and then you did it two more times and apologize for it. I gotta hold you at variance now, man. Just so I don't give the matter a chance to happen again. It says, so is it with a man that fasted for his sins and goeth again and doeth the same. Who will hear his prayer, or what doth his humbling profit him? So wait, when you fast at any point in time, that's between you and the Most High. I don't need to tell another man about that. So even if you fast, that's offering a sacrifice. But there were sacrifices that the men offered back in the day to the Most High burnt offerings that the Most High didn't accept. Mm -hmm. Question is, how do you know that he accept that burnt offering, that sacrifice, or not? Mm -hmm. You can't just figure because I sent it up. The most high is cool with that. Right. That's not the fucking case. Right. You'll find out later on down the line when a motherfucker boulder fall on your ass, some some nigga rape your bitch and then kill your children in front of you and then and paralyze you. You mm -hmm. see what I'm saying? Maybe the most high didn't accept that sacrifice. Mm -hmm. Because there's something behind it maybe that you aren't able to see at this time. That's why we have to be circumspect with ourselves. Mm -hmm. And then we work it on its way out. Right? Mm -hmm. This is Galatians 6 and 3. For if a man think himself to be something when he is nothing, he deceiveth himself. But right. every man. Mm, <laughs> but let. You think you thinking you that motherfucker, man. Be easy. Because mm -hmm. the most high has a way of setting cats up for that big fall. Right. But let every man prove his own work. And then shall he have rejoicing in himself alone and not in another, for every man shall bear his own burden. Right. Every man got to bear their own burdens. Same thing with these works. All right. But we can't look at, look at it to do these things and receive um, not necessarily just praise, but acknowledgement from other men when we do this. We look at this and feel gratified in ourselves because we're grateful that we can even push this word and know the name. 
We're not doing this for any other reason outside of pleasing Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, edifying His truth, man. Mm -hmm. All right. So, so we can easily be in a situation and we think that we're doing well, but the fruit that we're bearing might not be all that great to the Most High. As a matter of fact, He might cast that shit away. So we have to be careful in the long run. Man. God, God. Um, Basically, man, you gotta be easy, man. God damn, man. Oh, yeah. right, wait, 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 I got one more. Right, Hebrews 13 and 22. Since I'll be teaching you, brethren, that suffer, uh, suffer the word of extortion. All right, sometimes we gotta suffer when we extort it. Bring it, bring it, extort it to, a, to another level, man. Right, because right. if we extort it in the first place, there's somebody showing love, man. And then you don't sit and you don't justify yourself and apologize and the same fucking go. That don't make any sense. Like the scriptures say, can salt water and fresh water come from the same source, man? Right. From the same spring. That shit can't happen. You don't do that. You don't justify yourself and apologize in the same city. Mm -hmm. Because that disannulls everything you said. Mm -hmm. It says, suffer the word of extortion, for I have written a letter unto you in a few words. Right. right. In other words, kept it few. Got yeah. straight to the point with it. So, hey, man, in a few words. Too many words, man. You might say too much shit and, and, and otherwise uh, not even detect some of the things that you said. Mm -hmm. Because your intent or your emotions at the time that you are harnessing can be let out at that time and you feel all relieved and shit mm -hmm. not knowing the damage that you did. Right. Like right. the Hulk and shit. Right, right. Straight up the Hulk, man. Wake up at Bruce Banner like, oh, yeah, oh hey, shit, the whole the half of the city is all fucked up. Right. Man, After the marriage all busted up. Right. Making, yeah. This nigga like, hey, what's up, Cap? What's wrong, man? <laughs> right. This motherfucker like, damn, man, you a motherfucker. Right. The off, nigga. Now right. niggas looking at you like you got a problem. And like, hey, man, I had good intentions as Bruce Banner. Right. But nigga, yeah. when you the Hulk, man, God damn, it's just not worth it, brother. Right. We gotta send this, shoot this nigga in the space, man. Right. <laughs> shoot him to another planet. Fuck. You all gotta deal with this motherfucker, right. man. And with that, we are gonna say Shalom. All praise and glory to yeah, Yahweh oh, Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim Rekha'afadash. We hope the brothers that was watching was edified. Uh, double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone. Honors and salutations to you brothers doing the work of truth and sincerity. Shalom. Shalom.